have you ever looked at the big blue world record and asked yourself whether or not a time under one minute is possible here well trust me you're not the only one that thinks that because basically every comment under every new big blue world record is filled up with people thinking that a sub one might happen and on various discord servers i've seen it time and time again as well and i figured i would just give my two cents about this topic since i've played big blue quite a lot in my life i would estimate around 1000 hours of time trials and I know a thing or two about it, so I figured I would just share my opinion on this. And as you have seen in the title and thumbnail, in my opinion, a sub 1 on Big Blue will never happen. With an asterisk attach attached to it, but I will talk about that later in the video. Oh, and by the way, if I sound a bit off, that is because I am sick at the moment, so apologies for that. I hope you guys don't mind. Now, this might seem like a very strong sentence a strong argument um when the actual world record is less than 0.4 away from a sub one the current world record set by the japanese player toripi is a 100.399 so we only need like roughly a third of a second to get under a minute but why is it impossible you may ask yourself well in this video i want to talk about what my arguments for this are and while I do that, while I rant a little bit, I'm gonna play a bit of Big Blue myself, um, just to have some background footage, but then you can also see what a Big Blue gameplay typically looks like, maybe that interests you, maybe not. Um, but yeah, let's get right into the arguments, shall we? So I think the best way to look at it at first is to just check out the previous world records on this track. Like how much has world record time gone down in the past months and years of this game's existence? And if we do that, we see that the last time a sub has happened on Big Blue was in August 2019, which is, believe it or not, four and a half years ago. <laughs> and yes, I feel old as well. Back then, the Japanese player Poch set a 100.983, and that was a really big deal. Everyone was excited about a sub 101 happening, but even back then, people were almost convinced that a sub 1 time would never happen. Well, since then, we have shaved off more than half a second, almost 0.6 seconds from the world record, but it has also taken way over 4 years, and I don't think the world record will go down by that much again in the upcoming future. You see, ever since that fateful sub 101 in 2019, a lot of new strategies have been introduced, new combos have been used and, you know, switched around from time and time. There have been new strats, developed that ended up being slower some that ended up being faster there were the balance patches by nintendo where they changed some of the stats from various cards and a lot of things have happened in the past four plus years that have brought this time down that much of course the players have also gotten better there's no doubt and the current world record is very optimized too but i just don't see more of these developments happening. I mean, if we just look at the things that have been discovered in that time, we changed the combo to what is being used nowadays, which we believe is the fastest combo possible with the new stat changes and stuff. We have introduced, for example, the five coin strat in section one, which saves maybe 0.1. We have introduced the motion glider in 2021, which saves a little bit of time. We've introduced a new MT in section three, which saves a little bit. But as you can see, it's only very small stuff. Nothing major has really happened here. So a lot of small strategies have been found. And I do believe that we will maybe find one or two new strats in the future, but I just don't really know what there could possibly be. I mean, of course, if we knew what there was left, then we could just try it out, but I just don't see anything major, anything game-breaking being discovered on this track. Like, maybe a strategy that saves up to 0.1 seconds max, but that would only bring us to a 100.2, and that is still pretty far away from the time we want to achieve. But let's stop worrying about the past and look at the present day. As I said, the current world record is a 100.399 by Toripi. And if you're wondering what the best known splits on this track are, then you can see them on screen right now. They add up to a 100.289. And if you do the math, that means the sum of best is only 0 0.110 seconds faster. Now, if you don't know what these BKS are, it stands for best known split. And these are the fastest laps that have ever been driven on this track. Um, by a human. This is not by a task or whatever. This was driven by real humans. 
but um, not all of these happened in one run. They were set independent from one another, but this is quote-unquote the fastest split possible for a human, or at least the fastest split that has ever been driven in actual world record attempts. And that only adds up to a 100.289, and such a small difference to the sum of best compared to the current world record is actually pretty insane, I'm not gonna lie. On most tracks, the difference is quite a bit higher, maybe 0.2 seconds, but that just goes to show how optimized this track really is, and trust me, these best on splits are perhaps the most optimized in the entire game. There are so many people who are really, really good at Big Blue, who are kind of specialized in one section and can get splits that no one else can, and none of them have been able to beat these splits that were driven here. And even if they will be beaten, they only get improved by a few milliseconds at a time. For example, the most recent best on split improvement was on section 3, and that was improved by, I believe, 5 milliseconds. So, if we only talk about the current strats and combo, then I don't see another point 0.3 being saved here. But okay, maybe you're wondering, well, can't they just go a little bit faster? Can't they just drive a little bit tighter or do this part a tiny bit better? And let me tell you guys, there is some time save left, of course, but getting these, pa these last few milliseconds is so incredibly difficult. I mean, the current world record is one of the strongest in the entire game, in my opinion. And every time a new world record is set, it's a huge deal. But once again, it's only by a couple milliseconds at a time, and I don't see such a big time cut happening anymore. And yes, it is true that these kind of things have been said for other games and other speedruns before, where people say that a certain threshold will never be beaten, a certain goal time will never be achieved. And I agree that these things do happen, these people are proven wrong, and honestly, I would love to be proven wrong as well, because for the longest time, I've wanted to see a sub-1 happening here as well. But if I just look at the current strats, the current way this track is being played, and the current potential, I just don't see a way we can save another 0.4 four seconds or I guess 0.3 seconds in theory. Like I think the current potential for a human and um, with a quote unquote perfectly driven run with the current strats would maybe be a mid to low 0.2. So a 100.2 5 maybe or a 0.22 something like that i don't even see a 100.1 happening and we would have to save another 0.2 over what i consider to be perfection and yes it is true that the world record has been cut time and time again in the past which is really cool and i would love to see that happen in the future as well but in recent times the improvements have slowed down a lot and the only reason they've been improved a bit more um, in these past few months is because of the Nintendo balance changes, because of things like the motion glider being introduced and small strats. So we would realistically only get further if we do find more strategies or more different combos we could try out, more time save that doesn't just come down to playing better. And the thing is, People are trying to find these things. There are people who play so much Big Blue who would do anything to just get the world record here. And trust me, they try their absolute hardest to find new strategies and stuff. But as of right now, it just doesn't seem like there is anything left on the table. Like, maybe there will be a new strat or two in the future, but even if there is, the odds of it actually saving a good amount of time are incredibly low. In my recent memory, there has not been a strat that saves more than 0.1 seconds in years, maybe since the bottom path ultra was introduced. And, you know, we would need like three or four of those big strats to be found in order for a sub one to be realistic. And I just don't really see that happening anymore. And as I said, people are trying. The top 10 on this track is perhaps the strongest top 10 in the entire game, in my opinion, and in the opinion of many others as well. But um, yeah, I just, I just don't see it being pushed down even further. The fact that the tops are so optimized already just shows how much people care about this track and how much they want this sub one to happen, but it just doesn't seem feasible. Now, if you remember in the intro, I did put a little asterisk besides the, um, you know, title um, of, you know, Big Blue sub one never happening. And um, I have a few reasons for that as well. Now, of course, impossible is a very strong word. And even though I don't think it's gonna happen, there is the slight chance that it will happen. And I think the main reason this can't be done is to just 
you know, I have to wait for Nintendo to drop another update, which really, really buffs the current combo or a different combo, which makes us save a lot of time. And I'm not talking about like small changes like in, in the past few waves. I'm talking about really big changes that like save 0 0.3, 0 0.4 on this track, which by the way, it's very unlikely that they do that in the first place. But you know, maybe that is a possibility. And I guess the other way is if we do find a lot of strategies. But yeah, I just don't know what else there could be really. Now, in the end, it is impossible to predict the future and maybe the people in five years that still play this game are gonna be so cracked, so good at this game that they do somehow manage to get a sub one. And if they do, well, congratulations. That would be fantastic. I think it would be one of the most hyped Marka World Records in the entire history of this game series with how many people are looking forward to a sub one. And trust me, the people that grind this track want it the most. But as of right now, I just don't think it's happening. But yeah, those were just my two cents on this. I know people would disagree with me. I know there's some people who hardly believe that it can happen. But, you know, everyone is entitled to their own opinion. I just figured I would share mine with my experience on this track. You can agree or disagree, whatever you want. But yeah, as you can see, I unfortunately did not get sub 1 in this Big Blue session. Who would have thought? But I hope you enjoyed the little gameplay as well. And also enjoyed this um, little round I did here. I don't do this stuff often, but I figured, you know, with me playing Big Blue at the moment, maybe it would be a good opportunity to get this question out of the way. And yeah, I hope you did enjoy this. If you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you feel extra generous, you can check out my Twitch, where I try to stream Mario Kart as often as I can. But yeah, with that being said, thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and take care. Goodbye.